ちは。<笑>大丈夫。<笑>大丈夫です。<笑>はい。Where are we, girls? Shinjuku Harajuku! <laughs> Konnichiwa! Konnichiwa! Nihongo ikimasu? No. Nihongo shabelemasu? No. Ah,、uh, English. Yes. <laughs> Hello, guys. It's day two. I'm gonna say it's day two because I missed a day. <laughs> you can hear my sister in the background. So, today. The What's the plan? Today, I think we're gonna go to.、Um, let me check. I think we're gonna go to Meiji Jingu Shrine and Sentoji Temple. And I'm really excited about it because it looks amazing and incredible. And、um, just to recap what happened to me, because I haven't done this yet.、Um, basically,、uh, my flight was cancelled. And I lost a day of travel in Japan. I know it doesn't sound like awful right now, but it was. Because basically, what they did is that they canceled my flight like three hours before, and they just put me on the worst flight ever with layovers that were impossible to make, and、uh, with a change of airport in Korea. And I was supposed to do that in all like three hours, but The planes before that were delayed, so I basically ran for my life. And obviously, what was supposed to happen happened is that they lost my luggage. So I'm here without any clothes, any makeup, any skincare, any hair care, any、uh, coats, anything. I don't have anything with me. So I went shopping yesterday, so it ruined two days because I was never gonna shop in Japan. like... I don't care about clothes. I'm here for the scenery and the culture and everything. So I spent my entire day trying to find clothes because in this country I'm obese because they're so tiny. And,、um, and yeah, so that's what I did. And last night we went to Shinjuku and Shibuya. And this is my sister in the background. She's getting ready. Hello. <laughs> so. Yeah, so today is the real first day in Japan, guys, and I'm taking you with me. Come on. Where are we, guys? Measuring a shine. <laughs> and she doesn't know because she didn't plan anything for this trip. <laughs> So, we're doing a tour on、yeah. this little car ride. I just cried because we met the most loveliest grandpa ever, and he was the cutest one. He spoke French. And he was an English teacher, so his English was amazing. And we like spent like I think half an hour talking, and he told us about his life. And if you know me, I have a soft spot for old people, so now I am heartbroken because. <laughs> Don't cry. He, he was so very nice. happy. He was so nice. Anyway. His name is Fukuda, which means Fuku, happy, and da, feel so happy. And we have a 
Her card. Here's card. Yeah, we have his card so I can email him. And he told us that he was the best day of his year because he met us. And, and uh, he saw Sakura. And that because he saw the Sakura blooms. And yeah, that's it. Like, that's enough for me. I wanted to die after no, that. No. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Konnichiwa. Oh my god, she's so cringe. <laughs> look at me, I look like Roberto from Undo Stress. I think it's like un paso adelante for my uh, Spanish speakers. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, it's amazing. Guys. I woke up today, like I won the lottery, I got my suitcase! I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I woke up and um, the other couple who lost their luggage told me they got theirs and uh, they asked if I got mine, so I was starting to cry, I was like, no, you don't have my luggage! And, um, oh my god, I look terrible. Uh, and my sister was like, no, don't worry, like you always said, like it's when you like stop believing that good things happen. And then I ran through the door and I saw a paper with my name on it. It was saying that my last luggage was at the lobby. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I feel like I won the lottery for real, guys. Never take your things for granted. I love you guys. Even if, if I wore you for like a million times, I love you. I love you. So we are here at the Tokyo Castle, where the Emperor lives. What's the name of the castle, Rosa? Kokyo. No, we Kokyo. Kokyo Castle. And it's a little bit rainy, but I call it uh, the cat's piss because it's barely raining. And I'm gonna show you. So I ended up buying an umbrella because it was raining but I got the transparent umbrella that Japanese people have in all the shoujo manga and everyone has like regularly and I love it and um, we've been walking for a while now and we are not finding the castle and we are starting to feel like there is no castle to visit but I know there is so yeah So Rosda, her nickname is Wiki Rosda because she knows everything about anime world. Yes. <laughs> Every time we have a question, we ask her and she's yes. like... Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. Itachiwa Asret. And this is Asret. <laughs> she was trying to say Watashiwa. <laughs> <laughs> say hi girls. Stop speaking French in my vlog. <laughs> been here, been here. <laughs> Should I start uh, a YouTube channel in French? If there's like 1,000 people saying yes, I will. Because I don't even have 1,000 followers. <laughs> Subscribe. So, 
we're exhausted right now. Asad wants to die and sleep. But uh, we had to go to the top of the Tokyo Tower because we paid for it and it was like 3,000 yen. So we were expecting something because going to the main lake is like half price. And first we went to like a little, like we went, we took the elevator and it was just like a small floor and there was nothing special about it. We didn't have a good view. There was nothing. We were like, we've been scammed. And they took our picture and we're like, Mm. Right, did we just pay like half the price just for this picture that's gonna be on a fake magazine? <laughs> My sister's like, <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna go on the vlog. Anyway, uh, long story short, it was worth the view and the price because you got to see what I showed you. I thought you better to get my vlog. Like, she has no respect for me, guys. Statement though. We're gonna do a hike at Fujimi, Fushimi, Inari. So we came here. And I wasn't aware that I was going on a hike with a dress. I want to die. I didn't eat. I didn't drink. And now I have to go on a hike like this. Because of her. And because of her. <laughs> So I did it, I did it. I feel better now. Uh, right now we're gonna go for breakfast, I think, because it's 10 a.m. <laughs> I did this, we don't see it. <laughs> we don't even see the watch. Let me do it again, because it's 9.35. Anyway, um, so my point was that uh, here, I just wanted to point out that um, I am frustrated because the mangas that I love and that are old are not shown anywhere and that they're only showing off all the mangas that are like famous right now like Demon Slayer, Haikyuu, One Piece like Naruto is done for, like you cannot see it and I'm not even talking about my shoujo manga because I'll never see that here anyway so I'm seeing the same like goodies and stuff everywhere of the same mangas and Jujutsu Kaisen as well. I like it though, but it's just I want to see something else. We are at Kinkakuji with my sister. Asat left uh, us to sleep, but it's okay. Um, actually, she left us to read a shoujo manga. <laughs> but anyway, look at this beauty. And I'm gonna show it more to you. Anyway. I'm with my sister and she has an outfit that looks like she has something to hide from someone. She looks like she's in trouble. Cold. <laughs> she's so fucking cold all the time. Look at me. I'm like, my skirt. I have like this little shirt, and she's like there with. <laughs> Let me show you. She has a shirt first, <laughs> then she has this uh, turtleneck, and then she has this. <laughs> and she has... Oh my god.
So we are at Universal Studio, Universal Studio Japan, just so I can see the Harry Potter attractions. Then I don't care. <laughs> I came here just for that, and I'm so excited. So we have a two hour <laughs> I'm laughing because I was gonna show Majda with her terrible outfit <laughs> and she just realized she put it upside down so it's even worse. No, but she's in mode warrior. It's my blog, it's in English. She's like a warrior. A warrior, if you want to say. Look at her. She's so cool. Comme si c'est deux degrés. She thinks it's like so cold. She needs like a heat tech, like sweatshirt, then a t-shirt, then a heat tech, like jacket. Anyway, so that's the story. That's us, Fed. Ruined my night and my morning by being an asshole, and then she apologized like nothing. I just did the Harry Potter attraction and it was the best thing I ever did in my life. I, I wanted to cry, it was so good. Like, honestly, like I felt I was in Harry Potter. I'm so happy, it was amazing. Like, Japanese people were so good at like 3D and like, I don't know, immersive like attractions, I don't know. It was amazing. You really felt like you were flying, you were in the game, like not in the game, in the film, in the movie, oh my God. I said, tell my follower what happened. She's <laughs> so No. She wanted, we wanted to ride an attraction and they, they put, where are you going? Okay, so what, we were going to do the line for an attraction and they said, oh, let's, it's your first time, let's do a safety check. And basically they put her, us in a chair to check if like we could get in. And unfortunately the chair was not big enough for her. So they said no. She's shocked and sad. She's not fat, look at her. It's <laughs> This thing was built for like short and small people. That's it. Like they are exaggerating. Oh, by the way, Kim Ka wouldn't even fit this. Kim Kardashian, she couldn't do the ride with her butt. at our airbnb in tokyo and it's terrible and my sister is like begging us to book a hotel but they're hell expensive and she's like screaming and crying <laughs> the other one is sleeping between you like <laughs> Today we came to Japanese garden, it's in Shinjuku 
and it's so beautiful it's supposed to be windy which it is actually but the weather's so nice and tomorrow it will start raining again look at these colors <laughs> yeah there are like some fishes look Say hi to my followers. You want to say hi? I'm just passing. I'm not big enough for entering here, in any case. What? 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 She's what? She disappeared. She disappeared. Yes. Why? Always. the ryokan and we have a typical traditional Japanese dinner and I don't eat fish <laughs> so my sisters are eating away my food and thank god they are doing it but they are so kind and so nice and they told me that if I had told them in advance they would have uh, prepared something vegetarian for me but I didn't think about it because for me it was impossible for a traditional ryokan to cook anything vegetarian anyway so I'm not eating that's it Prise numéro 56. <laughs> How was it? Oh my god, we filmed this scene like five <laughs> times. Anyway, so I went to the onsen, the hot springs. Look at the fit. So cute. I hope it's not too revealing. Um, and I'll tell you more about it in a second. <laughs> so I got back from the onsen and it was amazing. We had to be naked, obviously, but like me and my sister seeing each other naked. That was not something we were prepared for. <laughs> anyway, um, it was so good, honestly. Like I kept re uh, reading those scenes in mangas and I was always wondering how it felt and it felt amazing. It was like so nice to feel the warm water and just like pour it and onto you because first you have to wash yourself and like uh, wash your hair and skin and then you get in the onsen. So even like washing yourself was amazing and then just going in the onsen, man, 
it was so nice but like after five minutes i was done because um it was too hot and my sisters are talking during my vlog <laughs> And they don't want to be shown right now, so keep talking and I'll show you. <laughs> and um, so yeah, when I was in the water, I couldn't stay for too long because I felt like I was going to faint. And it happened to me in the past where I was in a hot bath for too long and then I stood up too quick, too fast, and then I actually fainted and I had to go to the hospital. So anyway, we left and as we left, other people came in. It was like two ladies, two old ladies, and they were giving giving us the look, like the eye. So good thing that we were all by ourselves the time we were at Downsend. Anyway, 100% recommend, you should do it. So it's over, we're leaving. I'm actually going to Seoul and they're going home to Paris. So we're parting ways. They're taking a sketchy flight and I'm taking Korean Air. Hopefully this time they won't lose my luggage. And this is the end of our sister trip. I hope you enjoyed it. And see you one day Sayonara. soon. Sayonara. <laughs>